Okay, before anybody says anything, my neck is red because I cosplayed Millie last night and I wasn't able to get all the body paint off. So I'm fine. Don't worry. There's nothing wrong with me. I don't have some weird rash. I was just cosplaying a red demon and couldn't wash all the body paint off. Hello everyone! Welcome to a new video! Uh, the green screen is back because I'm back with another anime, anime rant. rant. Today we're going to be talking about anime ages because I have a lot to say and what better way to put my thoughts out there than to yell in a YouTube video. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So to preface this, I recently got into Bungo Stray Dogs which is a very good anime. Very happy that I watched it. Um, I love Atsushi so much. I, I've cosplayed him. I find him very comforting. I find him very relatable. And you know, things have been going well. I recently watched Dead Apple, which is the Bungo Stray Dogs movie. And at the beginning of the movie, there is this sequence where they introduce all the characters, they introduce their name, their ability, and their age. And let me tell you, when I learned some of these characters' ages, I was triggered. <laughs> <laughs> because, oh my goodness, they are all so much younger than they have any right to be. So I wanted to make a YouTube video where I just talk about how infuriating their ages are. Because anime ages are just ridiculous, alright? Because most anime characters are drawn in a way that just does not match their age at all whatsoever. For example, the Jujutsu Kaisen kids, you can't tell me that these are teenagers. These look like 23 year olds. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so I'm going to be talking about the anime ages of the characters in Bungo Stray Dogs and why they piss me off so friggin' much. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we're just gonna ease into it. We have Atsushi, my boy, my beautiful boy. I thought he was like 22. He is 18, and you know what? I can accept this. This is fine. I, you know what? He doesn't have his shit together, and and I definitely didn't have my shit together when I was 18. So you know what? I can totally accept that this is an 18-year-old. Makes sense. All right. Then we get to our boy Dazai, and I just. <sighs> He is 22 years old. He, this is a 22 year old man. You mean to tell me that this is not a 27 year old who's just given up entirely? Because... I thought he was 27. He's got to be in his late 20s. No, he is 22 years old. If you're 22 years old, you are still a baby. You have not lived through all the things that this man has lived through at 22 years old. 27 years old makes so much more sense, all right? But what's even worse about this is the fact that when he was in the Port Mafia, which I, like spoilers, by the way, I realize I should have said that at the beginning of this video, spoilers. When he was in the Port Mafia, he was like, what? A teenager. He was a teenager. You mean to tell me that this is a teenager? What teenager looks like that? No teenager looks like that at all. That's just... Excuse me? No teenager is this angsty? No, well... Okay, maybe teenagers are pretty angsty, so I know I'll take I'll take that all. I'll take that all. But no teenager looks like this. This is a grown ass man. You cannot tell me that this is not a grown ass man and that this is not a 27 year old man who's just given up. All right, come on. Then we get to our boy Kunikita, who again is 22 freaking years old. I'm sorry, what? This is a 30 year old man with a mortgage. You cannot tell me that he's 22. That is a baby age. He is not a baby. He looks like a a grown ass mature man who is paying off his house. Like, come on, seriously. I, I, you can't tell me that he's 22. That's just, you, what? 22, you've just gotten out of college. You've just gotten your life together or you're starting to get your life together. This man has his life together more than I ever will. And he's four years younger than me. That is rude. I feel personally attacked by that. That is ridiculous. You cannot, you, you just, you just cannot. We have Akiko, she's 25. This is the only age that really makes sense. This is a 25 year old woman. You can tell me that this is a 25 year old woman. I will accept it happily. 10 out of 10, believable anime age. We have Kenji, who I thought was maybe 18, maybe 20. No, he's 14. He's in the armed detective agency and he's 14. First of all, this does not look like a 14 year old. A 14 year old is a literal child. This is not, I mean, yeah, okay, they tried to make him look like a child, but he looks like he's at least 18. He looks like he's in his late teens, early 20s. No, he is a baby. He is a child and he's in the armed detective agency. Why isn't he in school? What is he doing? Doing armed detective agency work, going out on missions at nighttime. It's past his bedtime. He should be in bed. He should be doing his homework. He should be in school. What is this? What is happening? All right, again, we have my man Chuya here who I absolutely simp for. Side note, very attractive, very evil man. I love him very much. Moving on. Uh, he as well is 22 years old, which 
I guess I can buy it, I guess, but I thought he'd be closer in age to what I thought Dazai was, which I thought he was 27. So I'd think that Chuya was like 25, 26. No, again, he is 22, which also means that he was a teenager when he was in the court mafia, but at least, at least in that episode, they did noticeably age him down, which they did not do for Dazai for some reason. Like Dazai just looks like the exact same, like he's always looked, just he has bandages on, which I don't, you mean to tell me that that's a 15 year old? That's not, no 15 year old looks like that. You can't just, that, no, nuh-uh. So you know what, Chia's age, I guess I will buy it. I will take it. If you're selling it to me, I will buy it. I won't buy Dazai's age, but I will buy Chia's age. That I can live with, that is fine. Who else am I gonna complain about? I have a list. Junichiro again, he's 18, that makes sense. He looks like an 18 year old, he acts like an 18 year old. This is fine, this is all, this is totally all right. Then we have Octagawa, who is 20 years old, which, will I buy it? I guess, but he really, he again gives off 25 year old vibes, all right? Again, if you're a 20 year old, you're still very much a baby. But then again, he is, he acts like a baby. He whines like a baby. So you know what, actually, actually I'll buy it. I'll take it. He is, this is a 20 year old man. I'll take that. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. But <laughs> Kunikita and Dazai's ages are just rude. I just feel personally attacked by them being 22 years old. They are more accomplished than I will ever be. Kunikita is, has his shit together more than I ever will. And, and they are younger than me. That is weird. All right. That is weird. And it just makes me feel old and personally attacked. So yeah, that's really the point of this video. That's really all I wanted to say. Anyway, that was my rant on anime ages. This video was very chaotic. It was very all over the place. It was very, a lot of things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'm not the only one who finds these ages really infuriating. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Do these characters actually look like the ages that they are or am I just crazy? Am I just bitter about being 26? Maybe I am. You know what? I probably am. But you know what? I'm allowed because being 26 years old it just sucks. All right? It's just, <laughs> it's not a good time. And I wish, I wish I was still 24. All right. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Thanks so much for watching me just scream at a camera for 10 minutes. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.